So, I'm sure this is kind of an unconventional way to do a video, <laughs> since most people on YouTube are sitting up, but I just got a biopsy done. Um, it was a bone marrow biopsy, and it was awful. <laughs> I had asked on Monday when I saw my oncologist, I was like, so is it like, the way he described it, I was like, oh, so it's kind of like an epidural, which I have had two of those, and they were, I mean, they weren't that painful, um, and he was like, yeah, I think you'll be fine, um, and it was terrible, uh, there was, you know, the prick for the lidocaine, and then they go in, and he pricks it again, like, around the bone, and that was, oh, that, like, was a stinging sensation all the way up my back, and then you hear the crunching of the bone, and then he's, like, pushing, like, you almost have to resist it so that he can get into the bone, it was really gross, um, and that kind of, brought on a lot of anxiety. I don't know if it was because I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I was expecting it to be next to painless. Um, but I kind of started shaking a little bit and I seriously love my doctor. Like this is only the second time I've met him, but I can already tell like he's so good at what he does. He recognizes, um, and so are his like main nurses as well. Like they truly recognize, um, like body language and stuff. His nurse immediately, you know, touched my leg, held on to my ankle, and was like, you're doing great, you're doing great. So, then I felt, um, the anxiety building up, and tears kind of started rolling down my cheeks, and the way that they do it, because they had to take it from, he said, the hardest part of, like, the pelvic bone, so it's in, like, the back, like, where your love handle is, like, above your butt. Um, so you're turned away, you're like kind of, you're turned towards a wall, so they can't see you, but I think he could either feel me shaking, or he could just, again, like I said, my doctor is amazing, you could tell, and he told the other nurse, he was like, go hold her hand, because it was only me, um, Kurt had to stay with the kids, so, um, the other nurse held my hand for the remainder of it, and, um, they weren't really making jokes, but they were kind of being lighthearted about it, trying to make me as comfortable as possible. They really are amazing. Um, the suction of the bone marrow was horrible. I just straight, straight up started crying. <laughs> it was horrible. It stung so bad. It was so painful. Um, I guess I shouldn't say painful. It's just this really weird stinging sensation that's really strong um I've never been stung by a bee but I can imagine that maybe that's what it feels like I don't like a real like being attacked by bees maybe I don't know um but it definitely wasn't pleasant that's for sure and um yeah so that's why I'm laying in bed I can't bend over at all I am like laying in the fetal position and that is the only comfortable position that I can be in I took a pain med and, um, I can't bend over. I can't lift anything. I did a little grocery shopping afterwards while it was still super numb. Um, but yeah, it's so uncomfortable, but I was thinking about it and it really just made me think about like anxiety and like what I've dealt with over the years. Like, I've just kind of gotten my anxiety under control. You know, I stopped, I didn't go on any medication because I was nursing. Um, and just in the past, I want to say like month and a half, I started back on medication and it has made a world of a difference. Like I don't feel like a zombie. It literally just takes that edge off. Like the stuff that normally would bother me or send me over the edge, I just deal with like a normal person, I guess, who doesn't deal with anxiety. So it, it feels really good. Um, and just since I found out my diagnosis, I really haven't been able to, I guess, fully process it. I mean, I have, um, 
but I'm such a planner that I just kind of immediately started go, go, go. I mean, the day that I found out, a couple hours I went into work and I had to work all day. And then the next day, you know, I'm calling my insurance company. I called my gym and let them know they froze, froze my account so that I don't get charged because I was like, I'm not going to the gym anytime soon. Um, you know, immediately started looking for beds for the girls so that we could transfer them from cribs into beds. Um, which I got made an awesome new friend who ended up giving me some really beautiful wicker bed headboards that I love. Now I just need to find the metal frame and the mattresses and all that fun stuff. <sighs> um, I got them such cute bedding though for so cheap. Ugh, I love deals. If you know me, you know I love a good deal. Um, but yeah, so just planning everything out, trying to figure out how we can put Liam in a summer camp uh, to help wear him out because he just needs somewhere that he can get all of that energy out. Um, just been trying to plan, 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 plan. And so this was, I've gone to every appointment except for the oncologist one alone, um, which isn't a big deal. This one, I mean, my butt was all hanging out. I don't really exactly want someone there with me <laughs> to see that. Um, but it just was really nice to have the nurses there and actually, like, befriend me and comfort me. And it didn't feel fake. Like, it truly felt like that's what they wanted to do. Like, they truly care about me. And it was just weird because my experience with even having Liam and then having the twins, there was no, I don't even know how to describe it. It just, it wasn't as personable as that. It, it didn't feel like I was cared for. I mean, I had really good care. I had some of the, I had a great midwife and I had a great doctor, but it just, this is so much different on such a different level. Um, that hospital just really, really cares for you. Um, and I think the efficiency and the appointments and everything just being so quick has really helped with my anxiety um, with this whole situation. And I think that and being able to be on the right medication that works for me um, has really helped me to keep this kind of positive attitude and positive being able to like reassure everyone that I'm going to be okay um and been able to just like deal with how other people are dealing with this because it's very interesting to see people's reactions and to hear people's reactions and um how they're kind of coping with what I have to cope with um it's definitely very weird but I just wanted to make a quick video about this and um, thank everybody for um, your words of encouragement. I'm saying um a lot. I think my medication is kicking in, so I should probably take my nap. But yes, thank you to everyone. Uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate all the words of encouragement and the prayers and the help that a lot of you have given us in the quiet time before we announced to everyone. Um, it really truly has meant a lot to Kurt and I and especially to me because it's been a long time since I felt like I had a support system. I've always had a support system but again with my anxiety with my depression it didn't always feel that way and now within the past year I really feel like I have gained a circle of friends and colleagues and just it's felt really truly amazing it, I can't even begin to describe it um, but yeah that's it I'll probably make another video on Monday or Tuesday after my first chemo treatment so I'll post that when I have it ready all right you guys have a great day have a good weekend